This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. This is just breaking right now. This just came across my email. Uh, I'm going to read this headline, and then we'll preface the article, and then I'll read a little bit from this article. But this is this is bombshell stuff. Not bombshell as though it's surprising. Not bombshell as though we should be shocked by it. Oh, we should be shocked by it. We should continue to maintain our shock and outrage and outrageous and shocking behavior. But here's the headline. Ex-Trump aide Cassidy Hutchinson claims Rudy Giuliani groped her on January 6th exclusive in a new book, Hutchinson describes incident in which the former New York mayor put his hand under my blazer, then my skirt. Now, this is not surprising. I've read from transcripts of sworn legal documents in a lawsuit against uh, Rudy Giuliani by Noel Dumphy where he said things like, I want to own you, like officially with a document. He's talked about her breasts. He's talked about having sex with her. She was his employee. He is a vile, disgusting abuser of a human being, which is part and parcel for his job working for another vile, sinister, disgusting abuser of women, Donald Trump. These people are comfortable doing what they do in the Republican Party because they never get held accountable. If anything, they're just, people stand up to defend no matter what. We're witnessing what's going on with Russell Brand right now. And if you've read the case against him and the text messages where he's profusely apologizing for what he's done, you know that it is odd, it is peculiar, it is a little gross, not a little gross, that conservatives everywhere are standing up to defend him when the, the case is pretty made. And so it goes with Rudy Giuliani. Let me read a little bit and embrace yourself. A lot of this is pretty, pretty terrible. Cassidy Hutchinson, the former Trump aide turned crucial January 6th witness, says in a new book that she was groped by Rudy Giuliani, who was, quote, like a wolf closing in on its prey on the day of the attack on the United States Capitol. Describing meeting with Giuliani backstage at Donald Trump's speech near the White House before his supporters marched on Congress in an attempt to overturn the 2020 election, Hutchinson says the former New York mayor turned Trump lawyer put his hand, quote, under my blazer, then my skirt. Quote, I feel his frozen fingers trail up my thigh, she writes. He tilts his chin up. The whites of his eyes look jaundiced. My eyes dart to Trump advisor, John Eastman, who flashes a leering grin. I fight against the tension in my muscles and recoil from Rudy's grip, filled with rage. I storm through the tent on yet another quest for Mark. Mark Meadows, Trump's final chief of staff, was Hutchinson's White House boss. Hutchinson's memoir, Enough, is the name of the memoir, describes her journey from Trump supporter to disenchantment as her role as a key witness for the House January 6th committee. It will be published in the U.S. next Tuesday. The Guardian obtained a copy. Describing the events on January 6th, the deadly culmination of Trump's attempt to overturn his defeat by Joe Biden, Hutchinson writes that she experienced anger, bewilderment, and a creeping sense of dread that something really horrible was going to happen. I find Rudy in the back of the tent with, among others, John Eastman, she continues. The corners of his mouth split into a Cheshire cat smile, waving a stack of documents. He moves toward me like a wolf closing in on its prey. We have the evidence. It's all here. We're going to pull this off. Rudy wraps one arm around my body, closing that space that was separating us. I feel his stack of documents press into the small of my back. I lower my eyes and watch his free hand reach for the hem of my blazer. By the way, he says, fingering the fabric, I'm loving this leather jacket on you. His hand slips under my blazer, then my skirt, Hutchinson writes. For too long on planet Earth, men have treated women just like this. We thought that 2017, 2018, when Me Too happened, 
that uh, so many people were taken down, justifiably so, that maybe that would be the end of it. There would be a new dawn. But characters have found a refuge to continue to behave like this within the Republican Party. Certainly, there are abusers who are Democrats, absolutely. But there is no refuge in the Democratic Party for this. For this. In Rudy Giuliani, it will be covered for. This will be denied. They will try to vilify Cassidy Hutchinson even more than they already have. We need a sea change. We need a sea change in this country with one of our two major political parties. The Republican Party is everything that's wrong in the world. Not only are they largest white supremacy organization on the planet, they are now a, a protector, a, a refuge, a sanctuary for sexually abusive men like Rudy Giuliani, like Donald Trump, like Matt Gates, and a cadre of others. It is, it, it is a predator organization, and it needs to be ended. Unfortunately, we're in a situation where only through democracy will we be able to do this. That is why 2024, and I hate saying it because it gets said so much, it becomes a trope, it becomes a cliche, but this is the most important election this country has ever faced. For things such as this, and for larger, more macro issues like the continuation of democracy in our country. I'd love to know what you think about this. Where am I wrong? Where am I right? Uh, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, if I do something for you that brings you value on a day-to-day, -day, a video-by-video -video basis, please consider helping support the work we do here. You can click the join button below, become a channel member for two bucks a month, hit the super thanks button, or you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. All those are great ways to help support the work we do here. You can also follow me on social media. I am at Dollamore on Twitter, Instagram, threads, TikTok, Facebook, all of them at Dollamore. I'd love to see you there. And uh, man, it, it, days like this really put into perspective why it is that I say what I say at the end of every video to be genuine and to take care of one another.